life today's video as you can already see from the title is money saving tips for Disney and Universal my first one I'm gonna go in I've got in my notebook just to keep me on track and um, so if I do keep looking down that's the reason why my first one is before you go buy or make your own Mickey ears because in the parks when I last went I think they were about $25 I think they might be about $27.99 now or something like that so my tip to you is to rather if you've got children sit and make your own like you could look up YouTube videos and stuff like that I've found quite a few out there that's helped me make my own or like there's sites such as Etsy or there's a lot of sites on Instagram that do sell like personalised ones or ones that you don't actually see in the park so I think that's a great idea and also it'd be fun for the kids as well to get involved. My second tip is to when you first arrive on your holiday is to rather go to Walmart or Target because in there they have a lot of merch, a lot of Disney tops, a lot of Universal tops like Harry Potter and stuff like that. They have key rings, they have all sorts, they have so much we didn't even realise when we first went we were like oh my god I didn't actually expect them to sell this type of stuff in here and it's a, a fraction of the price as well which is great. Also when you do arrive I suggest maybe doing like not a massive food shop but like such as snacks like breakfast bars and stuff like that to be able to put in your parks bag to take with you because it will be able to save you some money. Mm -hmm. My third tip would be to go to the character warehouse at the premium outlets. It's on both sides they've got two of them I can't I think one's called Vineland, Vineland. I can't remember the name of the other one but the character warehouse is literally merch that they sell in Disney, in the Disney parks, in this warehouse for like, I don't know, there's t-shirts that they sell in Disney for $30 and in the character warehouse they sell them for like 12 or 10 and stuff like that so it is worth a shot and the videos I've seen lately of character warehouse merch, I can't wait to go because they have like lounge fly bags and stuff like that which are so cheap. So I'm really excited for that. My next tip would be if you're staying off site, so like in a hotel near I drive or whatever, is before you go have a look on TripAdvisor and see if your hotel specifically has free shuttles to and from Disney and Universal. The two times that we've stayed, we've stayed at two different hotels, but they were both Double Tree by Hilton, one on SeaWorld and one on Universal. And the SeaWorld one had free shuttles to and from Universal but they had like different time slots on the morning and then they didn't come back until like 7, 8, 9 or 10 on the evening maybe even 11 but the one on Universal um, had free shuttle to Universal but it was like a 5-10 minute walk anyways but obviously when it's blistering heat you might want to save a bit of walking and just get the shuttle anyways but the shuttle to disney you had to pay 15 pounds no, that wasn't 15 pounds 15 dollars per person to and from so it was like 30 dollars a day for me and james if we wanted to do disney and we did do it a lot which was a bit not on the great side we could have got an uber as well but i think it would have been the same price so try and have a look to see if your hotel does free shuttle because it'll save you a lot of money in the long run also while we're on that if you are staying off site and you hire a car a lot of hotels in on iDrive or whatever charge about $20 per night parking and if you want so that's $20 a day and say so if you're staying there for two weeks that's a lot of money especially on top of that if you go into the parks every day 
they charge you about $20, $25 to park on the parks as well. So that's like nearly $50 a day just on parking. So you might want to reconsider getting a car. Obviously, if you have a young children, it's helpful and handy, but I recommend not hiring a car. While we're also on that, um, Disney have shuttles. So I could we could get dropped off, say, Magic Kingdom ticket and transportation. They also have like Disney buses, monorails, and um, boats that will take you to different parks. It just depends. It is free, so even if you are staying off site, you don't need to worry about getting Ubers from Magic Kingdom to Epcot and stuff like that. Because I did see on a Facebook post a few weeks ago that a woman she done like a, a blog on one of the Florida pages I follow on um, Facebook, and she was like, "Oh, I got um." an uber from like hollywood studios to magic kingdom and it was like i can't remember it might have been like ten dollars or something i was like is she crazy does she not realize that the buses and stuff are free and it's not even even if like they come every hour they're coming like every 10 15 minutes which is actually really great my next tip would be to also say if you're going to the premium outlets or like want to go on i drive for a meal or whatever they have the i trolley which is £2 per use, um, I think it's not a return one, I think it's just £2 to wherever you go, to, oh my god I'm saying pound, $2 to where you're going, but you can also buy like a two week pass, a one week pass, um, which works out a lot cheaper if you are going to do like the premium outlets all the time, so that's really good and they're quite frequent as well. There's also buses that are called the Lynx bus. So I think when we went to um, rather the Florida Mall or Mall of Millennia, one of them two, we did get a Lynx bus and that was also $2, which is, I think it, that's just $2 going there. And then it's obviously $2 back. So maybe you could even buy a pass for that. I would have a, have a look at that as well before you go on holiday. My next tip would be to... If you can, obviously you could be spending like 12 hours in a park, but if you can eat off park as well, it'll work out a lot cheaper. I know Disney meals and Universal meals, for, I think we went to Volcano Bay last year. Well, it's the same everywhere really. It's, it, for two people, two adults, it's gonna cost you about $30 per meal. Thanks train. Yeah, so for two people, for two meals and drinks and that's probably without dessert as well it's going to cost you about $30 per meal so I'd keep that in mind obviously you can take your own snaps I think people do take sandwiches and stuff but I just wouldn't like the thought of making a sandwich in my hotel and then in the heat waiting like five hours later and eating a sandwich that's been sat warm in your bag that just doesn't appeal to me at all my next tip is the refill cups in the parks so if you're staying on a disney site you do get a resort mug but you can only use it in i think your hotel or hotels that you're staying at you cannot use it in the park do not pay for water when you're in the parks you can go into your starbucks or wherever that does water and ask for some free ice water i remember the first time we went in 2016 the Starbucks were giving out plastic cups of ice water but then when we went last year in April they were giving out like paper cones but I think you can also fill your bottle because they have like the little tap things that you can do that with. So the refill cups in Universal you buy a cup I think it's rather I think between 10 and 15 dollars and me and James only bought the one the first time we ever went and then if you come say two days later if you bring the cup again i think it's about seven dollars to refill um for all day and like you can have as much as you want and there's a lot of stands around the parks or even like the cork machines and stuff and they have so many flavors there's like mountain dew and minute made lemonade and stuff like that which is really handy and we bought our cup in 2016. We went again last year and took it again. So two years later and we could still activate it. So it's not even as if you go and like, you have to buy again next time you're on holiday. You really don't. We brought our magic bands back again as well. So we haven't even got the new, I'd say new, they've been out a few years. The magic bands, you know, they've got the thicker thing. We've got like the really skinny ones. 
Next tip, I would recommend taking your own medicine, paracetamol and stuff like that because I remember, I know it's not Florida, but when we went to New York in 2016, I got a really, really bad headache and stupidly, stupidly enough, we didn't take any medicine or anything. So we went to like a CVS and it was like $8 for paracetamol that we can pay 25 pence for here. So I'd keep that in mind, especially like plasters and stuff. You could get blisters and stuff like that. So next tip is for parents so in the disney parks i think universal as well i don't know we haven't got kids so couldn't tell you properly but i know disney 100 percent rent prams for parents and i swear to god they look like the most uncomfortable push chairs i've ever seen in my life they're like hard plastic really low on the floor they don't look comfortable at all and they don't come with any like padding or anything and it's just literally like a clip seat belt and I'm sure they charge like $15 a day for a single one and if you have like a double I think it might be like $30 I couldn't tell you properly but you'd probably be able to find out somewhere and I'd recommend 100% take your own push chair for your kids even if your kid is like six seven if they're gonna be walking around for 12 hours a day they're gonna get tired and they're probably gonna end up wanting to sleep i re recommend highly to bring your own push chair with you because it'll cost you an absolute fortune and it's better to have your kids in the pram even if they're too old to be in a pram it's best to take one just because your kid's not gonna walk around all day they're gonna want to sit down and the legs are gonna hurt my next tip would be to buy your own fans before you go there and also buy your own ponchos before you go. I don't know the price 100% for the fans and the ponchos that they sell there but they do have the spray bottles with the fans on so it's like a mister basically but I'm sure they're not cheap. I think they might be around $20 mark so it can be really pricey especially when you can go into your local town or whatever and get one for like £5-£10 it'll save your fortune also ponchos i don't know the exact price because we've never actually bought one but some rides do get you wet especially universal there's that one ride i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but it absolutely soaks you for about five hours after you've been on the ride even in the florida heat so i rec recommend getting your own ponchos like one or two pounds like even the pound shop sell them also with the wet, wet rides it's this certain one I really can't put my finger on what it's called Um, it's not I don't know anyways the wet rides do charge you to go on especially Jurassic Park and then this other one that I'm thinking of I can't remember the name of and it's about five or six dollars to put your stuff in a locker or you can take it on and risk getting your phones wet and stuff so I rec recommend like taking like a plastic bag or whatever inside just to wrap your stuff up in case just you don't want to risk getting your cameras and whatever wet also with the water park such as volcano bay i can't remember the typhoon lagoon price but the lockers they charge you about 16 dollars as well when you want to use the lockers so obviously at your own risk you can not pay that more that price and just have your stuff at the beds which i would not recommend at all or you can pay that much but it's just making you aware so when you get there you're not like oh my god i have to also now pay 16 dollars when i've also paid 25 dollars for parking and i've already paid for my tickets you know what i mean so it's just so that's all my money saving tips for disney and universal for first timers i hope it helps some of you in some way if you are planning the trip and yeah thanks for watching bye